box. Let's let it load up here, minimize server manager. For this exercise, we're going to use the VMware vSphere client. Let's go ahead and log in. Once logged in, we're going to click on hosts and clusters. Right now we're going to add PLAB ESX02 to the London cluster. Select London, right mouse click, left click add host. On host we'll go ahead and enter its name. And the username is simply root and we'll enter our super secret password. Go ahead and agree to this security alert. Verify the information, click next. Keep the defaults on the assigned license page, click next. Keep lockdown mode unchecked, click next. VM location, keep the defaults, click next and finish. As you can see down here, PLAB ESX02 is being added. It's about 80% 80, 80 complete. You will also notice that PLAB ESX02 is already listed within the location and you will notice that it's appearing as disconnected and it's going to stay disconnected until the configuration here is done. Once the configuration is complete, it's going to show up as enabled. We're going to exit out of the standard client here and jump into the web client. So right now we're going to invoke a PLAB VC01 window. So right now we're inside of uh, home on the uh, vSphere web client. Let's go down to monitoring and click on host profiles. Go down to the middle pane and this little plus button is actually called extract profile from last host. Go ahead and click on it. And we're going to select PLAB ESS. O1. Click next. On the profile name we'll go ahead and rename to plab underscore profile. Then click next and finish. So the extract host profile is in progress. So now our PLAB profile has appeared in the left pane. Let's select PLAB profile in the middle pane here, right mouse click on it, and select Attach, Detach, Host and Clusters. Select PLAB ESX02 and click Attach. Go ahead and click Next. We'll go ahead and keep the defaults on these host customizations. Go ahead and click Finish. We'll now remove a host profile from the host. So again, in the middle pane, right mouse click on the PLAB profile and select Attach, Detach Hosts and Clusters. On the right box, let's select PLAB ESX02 and select 
detach. Go ahead and click next and finish. You could also edit an existing host profile by selecting PLAB profile, right mouse click and edit settings. We won't do any um, edits right now. We'll just click next and finish. Let's go ahead and export the PLAB profile. So right mouse click on it and select export host profile. Security message indicating that the admin passwords are not exported. We'll go ahead and um, click save. Just save the profile. If we minimize this window, you notice the host profile was saved to our desktop. In order to import host prof profiles, we would work from the uh, middle pane. This second symbol here is the import host profile button. We click on it and browse to our desktop, locate our file, click OK. And VMware is now importing that host profile. I'm going to first go ahead and rename the imported host profile here to simply PLAB. Next, I'm going to go ahead and attach PLAB ESXi02 to the PLAB host profile. So we've passed our compliance checks. Next, we will remediate the host. So the PLAB host profile is already selected. This button here is remediate host. Let's go ahead and click on it. PLAB ESX02 is selected. Go ahead and click next. We will keep these defaults and click next. Notice on the uh, remediation task here, it shows the status is unknown. If we expand PLAB ESX02, it shows a few things that are out of compliance. We'll go ahead and finish this out. Be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe to my videos. And thank you for watching.